Hey, Shug. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. So, I have some time and I was like, I really want to get a video out. I was trying to think about like what type of video I wanted to do. I did it all sign. I liked the video, but because I did it outside, to me, I was kind of whispering. And I don't know why. You know, it could have been because I had both of my headphones in. You know, where you can't really tell. But whatever. I, you know, shit happens. Okay, <laughs> But, you know, I... I didn't want to do another all sign, but I did feel like it was necessary to do a collective reading. I'm going to tell you why. So, I haven't been making any videos lately, you know, and it may be because I've been very, very busy, right? But someone told me, a friend told me, like, that in my videos, it seems like I'm not really as into it as I once was. So, me being the Gemini that I am, I am very, you know, honest, okay, direct, blunt, upfront. And I said, you know what? You're right. <laughs> like, uh, and it's not that I'm not into tarot or, or even like using tarot or oracles because I, I use them myself all the time every day. But I haven't been as like, you know, excited to do the videos and stuff because I, I'm going to tell you why. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. I told him, I said, I feel like the energy has been very stagnant, okay? <laughs> it has, to me. And I think I said it in a video before. To me, it feels like the energy has been very stagnant, okay? And one thing that I don't like, you know, and this could be like a Gemini trade or maybe just a trade of Kines. I can't stand stagnation. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of Gemini's like, I agree. Okay, it's probably, you know, probably a Gemini trade, an air sign trade. It might be, you know, a trade of a lot of different zodiac signs. But what I will say is I can't stand stagnation in any area of my life. Okay, and this is like, you know, in relationships, in like career-wise, in like, you know, social. If you're going to a club or something, you're standing in line or I, well, my patience is very thin. Okay, <laughs> that's one thing. You know. But I just don't like things that are not moving. Okay, I gave him an example. I was like, that's like me driving with some friends and we going out, you know, going out of town and we going somewhere, and they don't know where they're going and kind of driving in circles, or, you know, no, no, <laughs> like that to me, I, I can't stand it. And that's what I felt like collectively, the energy just kept being. And if you're someone that's like trying to pull yourself out of bad energy or you're someone that's trying to stay as motivated as possible to consistently read that type of energy, it is draining. Okay, it is. And so I have not been very motivated to do readings collectively because of that. So I've had time to like think and process that conversation that I had with that person and I asked God, asked Spirit, asked Source for a different way to communicate whatever needs to be communicated okay and I'm still gonna do my oracles and stuff like that but I feel like they should kind of come when it, when the message needs to be given I don't necessarily want to you know saying do like a, a daily or um per zodiac sign type thing because I do feel like the energy applies collectively. I gave him an example of how collectively, you know, and I had to explain what I meant by collective. Collective meaning like all of humankind, okay? And it could probably even go beyond humans, you know, but I don't even know that realm, okay? But like I would say all of humankind. Um when I say collectively, you know, like collectively, we might have been experiencing stagnation. That could be in any area. I might be experiencing stagnation in a relationship. Someone else might be experiencing stagnation in, you know, their career. Someone else might be experiencing stagnation in, you know, you know, them trying to have a baby. Or someone else, you know, could be experiencing stagnation in, you know, them, you know, finishing school. Someone else, like everyone has their own period of stagnation. And what I was reading from these or getting from these readings just seem like the same thing reoccurring over and over again. It was just like, are we going to learn the lesson yet? Are we going to, is there going to be a breakthrough? Is there like, 
when is it going to happen? <laughs> it was irritating. And so I asked God, spirit source, to give us a different way of, give me a different way of communicating to everyone. If I'm going to do these videos, then I have to make sure that they are um, beneficial not only to people, but to me, you know? And I want to feel like I'm doing this for a purpose. So, that's how I'll be doing my readings going forward. Not necessarily like dailies or like, you know, by Zodiacs and stuff like that. But more so like, how can we, as a collective, humankind, mankind, like, grow within? Okay? Alright, so, I'm going to do... I'm specifically going to use this deck because I told y'all like this is one of my favorite decks. And we're going to ask Spirit, God, Source, whoever you acknowledge, however you acknowledge. Okay? Um, because that's not, to me, I don't feel like that's my job or position to tell you how to acknowledge. Okay? I feel like whatever lessons you are learning in your life is going to tell you what God and Source or whatever you need to serve. I don't feel like that's my message. Okay? But what I am telling you is that there is a higher source okay you connect with it however you want to connect with it okay and there's a reason for what we encounter as mankind okay so collectively what message god source spirit will be beneficial for the collective right what is it that the collective needs to know in order to be better to do better to respond differently to remove stagnation and here it is, it is. <laughs> this is a spiritual union okay spiritual union we're gonna read the message bottom of the deck the universe card okay it's the world okay Major Arcana is the overall energy. Major Arcanas are spiritually influenced, okay? It's like direct from spirit. So if the world is the reason why, the because, the source, the from, okay? This spiritual union is because of a spiritual influence. The world, the universe card. Okay? This time, this time, okay. Okay, all right, so here we go. Spiritual union. That's the message. Y'all saw it come out. No manipulation. That's what it is. Here we go. It says this card deals with relationships involving an emotional bond. It could be between two lovers. Oh, I'm sorry, new lovers, kindred souls, family members friends, business associates, or partners. It can even relate to a project or a specific situation. This would be the perfect time to realize that all relationships are really about you. Notice when you interact with different people in your life, are they giving you energy or taking it away? Is there an even exchange? There should be an equal balance between giving and receiving energy. Relationships are mirror images of your own life. They reflect how you feel and treat yourself and how you react and respond to various situations and individuals around you. Each and every union is an opportunity for soul growth. Okay, so what is the collective trying to say to us? That there's something about a spiritual union. It doesn't have to be between two people romantically. It can be between friends, lovers, family members. It's, it, can even between, it can even be between you and a project or something. Okay. How is this thing feeding you? Is it an equal exchange? Or are you being drained? Okay. Are you giving too much? Is it fair? I told my friend the other night, I said, I am in the energy. And you know, I, I'm not going to say this, you know, this kind of occurred after my mom's passing, but it kind of stamped even harder after my mom's passing. 
Now, I've always had my own personality, okay? I've always been very strong-willed, all right? So, I was going to feel how I was going to feel regardless if she was, you know, I, I, had my, I had my own personality. She knew that, right? Okay, boom. But even more so, after she passed, I took on this mentality. You get what you give, period. And because I'm a Gemini, I can respond that way with everybody with a smile on my face, okay? I don't care if you're my child. I don't care if you're my mother, aunt, uncle, brother, cousin, coworker, boss. I don't care who you are. You get what you give. And I had to take on that energy even more so after her passing. Okay? It, it's not something that everyone can just automatically do. It does sometimes take, you know, require you to kind of get to the point where it's like, you know what? Okay? Seriously. It just is what it is. Okay? It just is what it is. So, there's a time collectively for us to evaluate the relationships we have in our lives the relationships we have to people the relationships we have to things whatever is it taking more than it's giving are you taking more than you're giving like i feel like that's what's going to change stagnation i asked for what was going to affect or change the stagnation collectively okay Bad reputation came out. Cock blocking. <laughs> Played out. Okay. Dirt digging. Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Okay. This can be someone that you're having a romantic love affair with. A sex fix. A secret lover okay this can be someone that you're having a love affair with all right they might have a bad reputation there may be some cock talking maybe they feel played out maybe they feel like you're not paying them any attention mm. wolf and sheep's clothing with moving on like, maybe somebody around you isn't who they say they are. Yeah? Maybe, maybe a situation in your life isn't what, isn't producing what it was initially intended to produce. Or, you know, it's not doing what it says it's going to do. Okay? Maybe you being a participant in a union is giving you a bad reputation maybe stopping it's a like cock blocking but cock blocking ain't doing nothing but stopping what that means is it's like stopping opportunities okay it's blocking you okay it's like not even relevant it's played out whatever this is it's not even relevant to the right now or who you are today okay yeah spiritual union for the collective. Euphoria. Despair. It says chasing thrills, joy, laughter. Okay. Bottom of the deck says despair. Falling apart, sinking, hopeless. All right. Okay. Someone could really, someone could really be like, upset that you're happy like like upset that you're in a euphoric place in your life okay let's see it more For the collective. Mm. 
air sign with yes okay so air sign gemini libra aquarius with yes mercury retrograde divorce let it go Psycho tried to show his face too, when it's, but it like went in reverse. It can be like with earth sign and then fire sign. <laughs> Distance guardian. If you've been distant from an earth sign, this is because you being protected with guardian here. All right. Somebody has a bad reputation. Maybe they may be trying to block you because they feel like like not relevant. Played out. Okay. This could be someone that's trying to figure out or find out if you if you do have a, a romantic love affair. Or if you you know do have a secret level with you know romantic love affair here. Okay. Right, spirit, clarify spiritual union. Judgment tried to come out, but it went, you know, wouldn't turn over. But what the page of cups and the nine of wands. Um, this is a message, okay? With the nine of wands energy and the eight of swords, it's like you know, to me, I would read that as someone that's like tired or exhausted with like being stuck in their head. It's like I, I don't want to keep you know being like that three of cups energy um this could be like apologizing for sleeping with a third party ace of wands and the three of cups you know um avoiding change okay maybe someone's seeing things from a different perspective okay spiritual union the will of fortune and the hangman okay um so this is like you know there's a change in stagnation <laughs> like literally there's a change in stagnation okay yeah someone's done blocking it okay with the death energy and the seven of wands it's like into a block and what's been happening copy blocking it's like you know like like someone's trying to stop you from getting to what it is you want with the world energy that's the universe card, the world, okay? And movement forward into a better state, okay? Growth and expansion, okay? So someone might apologize for either third party, three of cups can be like a group of people. And, you know, it is, it's fixing something. Whatever it is, it's fixing something. There's a transformation here. It's any stagnation in whatever sense now. Let's say this was a relationship thing, okay? Spiritual union. Someone could have a bad reputation. They try and stop you, block you, okay? Maybe someone's getting a bad reputation. Um, they, maybe someone feels played out, like they're not relevant. Where they try and get dirt on you, like who you with, you know who you hanging with, whatever. Boom, okay? That's a love relationship. This can be a, a work relationship, like where, um, you know, you aren't coming to the meetings anymore. You're starting to get a bad reputation. And someone's trying to, like, you know, stop you from growth because they're trying to keep you in a state of mind, um, you know, because maybe they want you to kind of stay in the same box that they're in, you know, um, maybe some try maybe people are trying to dig dirt on you, see like, you know, what are your plans? Are you trying to leave the company or whatever the case may be? Like somebody might apologize for a group of people. Like if they was trying to start drama somewhere at work, they might apologize for, you know, what they might participate in it. In order to end some type of stagnation in some way. Maybe you start coming to the meetings again. Maybe um, you guys are more productive at work. Whatever the case may be. This could be between an air sign and an earth sign. And it could be another fire sign. That's somewhere in the mix somewhere. Okay. Let me clarify. Ooh. Okay. So we still got the universe card. Okay. 
do what I need this guy. Alright. Let's see what this is about. Kind of it could be. Alright, it's the Page of Cups energy collectively. Page of Cups energy collectively. Nine of Cups, okay. Seven of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, all right. The Nine of Cups, I mean, the Page of Cups with the Nine of Cups is like someone apologizing for thinking about only themselves, okay? The Seven of Pentacles energy, maybe someone had time to like really look at things, um, evaluate things. Seven of Pentacles energy, I said Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles energy can be like reevaluating things, re-looking at things, um, especially with the Hermit energy behind that, they're like really processing and thinking. Um, even if someone was like kind of trying to make things happen the way they wanted them to, you know, wanted them to, like that someone could apologize to you for like being selfish or thinking, about only themselves, okay? Um, yeah, Page of Cups energy. Yeah, Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's really someone doing something behind the scenes, okay? Yeah, maybe even causing drama with the Five of Wands, okay? Yeah, uh -huh. Four of Swords. Um, this can be someone that's trying to come around and heal things with a air sign, especially with the air sign energy there, okay? At the four swords and the queen of swords all right um for so maybe something that happened in the past but with the two of pentacles energy this is someone that was you know doing things behind the scene okay while they might have uh been causing like stagnation for you or might have, why they might have even um however they were contributing okay it's like someone who was thinking only about themselves but doing a lot behind the scenes with this two of pentacles energy page of cups and you apply however it fits if it does fit okay um remember it could be like that co-worker that was you know acting like she was on your side when really she was you know talking behind your back you know with somebody at the job okay so this is you know to this is all happening to end some type of stagnation okay yep three of swords okay and five of pentacles that might have caused heartbreak or disappointment and maybe even you letting some people go. Five of Pentacles, like, nope, I see what y'all doing. I'm done, right? Or I see what you're doing. I'm not doing this, okay? Yep. And someone made that made a decision or left a connection and left um with the left's energy, a partnership, a spiritual union. Okay. Someone abandoned that. Okay. Someone's been thinking about that. Maybe how they sabotage or mess something up. Okay. All right. Okay. Three of Cups. Who's the Three of Cups? Three of Cups can be a group of people. Three of Cups can be a third party. You know, Three of Cups can be a friend. Three of Cups can be a lot. Three of Cups can even represent apologizing for not like allowing something to come together because Three of Cups can be like a, a party or a celebration, you know, coming together, hanging out. Okay, someone can even apologize for maybe like, oh yeah, a tower happened. Um, for maybe like now allowing something to come together. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Emperor and the Ace of Swords. Someone stepping up to be honest. Okay, the Emperor is someone that's taking the lead. Um, it's, it also represents like taking ownership, uh, maturity, responsibility. Okay, so with the Emperor energy, clarifying this Three of Cups. Whoever this energy is representing is someone that's taking ownership and stepping up. Okay, to be honest. Okay. Knight of Pentacles is about stagnation. To be honest about stagnation. Let me tell you exactly why things have been happening this way. Okay? All right. So someone is going to take ownership for this Three of Cups. Now, it could be a group of people. Maybe they were selling them one thing when it wasn't. Okay? Yep. Secret. High Priestess Energy. I'm telling you. Listen. 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 <laughs> for real. With the High Priestess Energy in the Death Card. Okay? It's a, high, it's a secret or something that is like unknown. That has to stop being unknown, okay? Meaning you need to know about it. So someone's going to take ownership. This is, these are all major arcana. 
the emperor, the high priestess, and the death energy are all major arcana. Okay, now with the world being the overall energy, this is spiritual influence in order to shake up stagnation in whatever way. Okay, so with these three major arcana clarifying these three of cups, this is spiritual influence to this person. Okay, whoever this emperor is representing, all right, to encourage this change. All right, yeah, six of swords energy is to move things into a better state. Yeah. And it's because with the Queen of Cups energy, you have been nothing but loving and caring. Okay, you've been nothing but supportive, giving of yourself. It has to be an equal exchange <laughs> of giving and receiving. And maybe you took the time to evaluate the situation in your life and said, nope, this is not giving what it's receiving. I'm going to release it because we saw that. Okay, with the heartbreak card, right? It came out with the five of pentacles. This is abandoning a connection, a partnership, a relationship in some way, shape, or form. Okay, clarify the will of fortune, which is about change, movement. Okay, eight of wands, energy, and the knight of pentacles. This is communication. This Now that this is happening, now that this dialogue is happening, the will can move. And when we say the wheel can move, like it's like the wheel's moving on a car. Now we're moving, okay? Imagine being stuck on a roller coaster. Have you ever been stuck on a roller coaster? I haven't. I think I'd lose my. I think I lose my. I think I lose my mind. Cause I was stuck on. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going shock up there, okay? And I love roller coasters, but if I get stuck on one, I think I'm going shock. But imagine being stuck on a roller coaster, and it's supposed to be moving. But it ain't moving, okay? How do you know that we're in shape? When the wheel starts to move, okay? So when the wheel starts to move, Aiden Wands Energy, that's saying that things will start moving when communication is being had, okay? When this dialogue is happening, a conversation is to be had, okay? Wheel of Fortune Energy for the collective. Wheel of Fortune Energy for the collective. And I feel like once the wheel starts moving, it wants energy, it moves quickly. Okay. It's six of cups, right? This change can be communicating to your past, communicating about your past. Um, because with the King of Wands energy and the Two of Wands, this the King of Wands energy is the fire sign energy, but it's about a king of action. What are you doing? This king made it took you know, made a choice, made it took a choice, <laughs> made a choice. Okay, yeah. And with the magician energy and the knight of swords, whatever they created, they are trying to like make a change. The knight of swords energy is like removing, okay. Um Yeah, remove it. It's like it's it's like taking the sword to it, getting rid of it. Okay, so someone is communicating either to their past or communicating about their past, and they're doing this to create some type of movement. Okay, Knight of Swords energy, right? And then the next card being the Hangman. This is like removing the stagnation. Okay, yeah, Three of Wands energy and Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. All right, three of wands energy is like it's projection. Okay, it's looking out into the future. It's 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 reflecting. I ain't gonna say reflecting. That's looking in the past, but looking more forward, forward, forward thinking. Okay, like it's you know it's someone's had a chance to really think about it. Okay, and this is why the stagnation is being removed. Why is the hangman energy here for the collective? the moon okay that's the moon with the three of cups on the bottom all right so why were things stuck or stagnant is because with the moon energy and this can mean a lot of different things this can mean stuff you didn't know okay about this three of cups maybe stuff that they were 
doing with this group of people that you didn't even know, you know? Um, the reason why things were stuck is because some, maybe someone was afraid of these people, right? The thing is, the reason why, uh, because remember, the moon energy is like the unknown, right? Maybe someone was afraid. May, maybe things were stuck because someone was like hiding a lot of stuff, okay, um, from this group of people. Maybe they, maybe they were lying to these people. Like, it's like, what, the reason why that stuck, that stuck energy was happening is because of these people. It's going to be a person. It's going to be a group of people, okay? But with the Eight of Cups energy and the Ten of Swords, it's someone that's just ready to leave that all behind and be done with it, okay? It's like, I'm going to tell you everything because I'm ready to just leave that behind and be done with it, okay? Like, this is what's happening, right? And the Ace of Swords. I'm going to tell you everything. Ace of Swords, you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Tarot 101 says the Ace of Swords is the truth. Okay? That Tarot 101. Okay, what website what you look it up on? The Ace of Swords is the truth. Okay? So, I'm going to tell you this truth so that we can move things into a better state. This can be a friend, a colleague, a boo thing, whatever the case may be. Okay? Because someone has been blocking things, cock blocking Keeping you from your your goal, keeping keeping things stagnant because of their actions, okay? Because of their actions. Look and look. I almost put the Knight of Wands in reverse. Everyone knows that the Knight of Wands in reverse is just trash, okay? Like you just you know. What's the Hangman energy? Okay, whatever you didn't know, moon energy to the Ace of Swords. You want no name, and this is to make. Or help things move into a better state. Queen of Swords on the bottom. I mean, Queen of Swords try to come out, but then turn over. Okay. They're getting that truth. Okay. Yeah. The Queen of Cups energy and the Seven of Swords. Right. The Queen. Of... Okay. Okay. The Queen of Cups energy and that Seven of Swords. The Queen of Cups energy is a loving, caring energy. Right. You've been nothing but loving and supportive and caring and sweet and. And you know what? With the Seven of Swords energy, someone didn't believe you were who you were. Okay? They thought you were a fraud. <laughs> like, in whatever way, shape, or form. They thought you were phony. They thought you were full of shit. Okay? They didn't believe it. Okay? They looked at you and, you know, smiled in your face and then went behind your back and talked about you. Because they didn't believe who you were. They didn't believe who you presented yourself to be. Okay? <laughs> this is the truth. It's the, it's the God on the street. <laughs> like, it is. And this is what someone's going to tell you. What you didn't know. They were rubbing your name in dirt. <laughs> like, dirt digging. Let's find some mourner. Yeah, that's what they was doing. <laughs> that's exactly what they was doing. Okay? And this is why all this is happening. Because there has been nothing but stagnation. You thinking things are one way. And then finding out that they're another. Okay? Or... You know, you, you know, in whatever way, shape, or form. This is what this is all about. Okay. And it's all because of the universe energy, which is the world energy number 21. Okay. It says this. You've come far on your journey and it's time to be rewarded, to be rewarded for your efforts. This card symbolizes completion, triumph, peace liberation and fulfillment everything you strive for is within your reach meet it halfway and grab it the universe is the last of the major arcana cards and reflects the work that you've accomplished on your travels but more importantly it represents the wisdom that you've gained along the way you should now honor and acknowledge the truly wonderful soul that you are and accept the vital part that you play in the bigger scheme of life. The world is yours to command, and you're free to travel in whatever direction your heart desires. You're connected to everything in the cosmos. The universe card is a reminder that the same energy making up the stars in the sky, the same energy that's cursing through the universe is in each and every individual. In ancient times, Many believe that each star was the soul of one person. They also believe that these souls shine so brightly to guide others through the darkness. And so too can your wise soul. The world. Okay. 
you have transformed someone. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't even understand it. Okay? I feel like that's a major. Okay? Also, when we were doing these cards, we saw that there was a guardian involved. Okay? You are being supported. Okay? Protected, guided. Even through all the BS that you are encountering. Okay? Even through all the BS. Okay? Through all the BS. <laughs> Trust, there is a there is a, a reason why, okay. But I'm just glad that there is hopefully a break in this stagnation. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I'm telling you, you cannot make this stuff up. This is broke ass. I'm not calling nobody broke. The car did it. I'm not doing it. I don't talk that way. Okay. <laughs> this is Queen Rising. Stepping into power. Praise. Coming up. Spotlight. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Ego. Her ego. Ego getting in the way of the relationship, etc. Okay. So, I'm about to explain it more. Here you go. Inside scoop. A closer look. Nosy. Up in your business. Listen, you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Okay? You have access to everything that's going on in the cosmos, right? The car just said it. Broke ass don't mean that somebody's actually broke. But they can be broken spiritually. You happy. They not. That's broke emotionally. They ain't got no money. You thriving financially. That's someone that's broke financially. You got endless friends. They can't get nobody to go out with them on a Friday night. That's someone that's broken socially. Like someone can feel like you have something that they don't. Their ego was hurt. Okay. Someone was getting an inside scoop though. Maybe getting a closer look. Maybe getting real nosy. Maybe being up in your business. Because... They wanted to start drama with the drama starter card here. Okay? Creeping. All right? Even girl fight under that. That could have been people trying to fight you. Okay? Like, seriously. Because they didn't believe who you presented yourself to be. No, <laughs> seriously. I'm dead serious. In whatever way, shape, or form. You was all nice and sweet and stuff. They didn't believe that. <laughs> Why is universe here? Why is universe here for the collective? But that's why I'm in the energy of, I don't care who you are. You get what you give. Okay? This, this card says, give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. Right? Okay. And this is with water sign on the bottom. It says, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, health. Okay? Now, all right. Remember... Okay, we got these other zodiac signs, earth sign, air sign. We even had fire sign show up. The the water sign energy, the queen of cups energy, okay, is I feel like the energy that someone was seeing you as, okay? With give a time being here, everything in divine timing, um, maybe, maybe, maybe someone felt like, oh, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I can't compare to, you know, the Queen of Cups energy, you know, who they see yourself to be, right? So, spirit might be like, give it time, okay? Yeah, they might have said, I'm not being your friend no more, and they walked away from you, but give it time. You'll have time to communicate. You'll have time to talk, right? Okay. Because remember, somebody was going through despair, okay? While you just living happy, you for you, okay? All right. Okay. Why is the universe here for the collective? Universe. Influences. Dark attachments, third parties. Okay. Bottom of the deck says shattered, damaged, broken hearted, destroyed. Okay. All right. So 
some people might someone might have had dark influences around them that made them feel damaged brokenhearted destroyed okay made them feel bad about themselves or um, might have added to someone feeling a certain type of way okay like oh they'll never be my friend again or um you know they'll never want to you know work with me or whatever the case may be clarify the universe for the collective two of pentacles make someone go back and forth back and forth back and forth with being honest with you, okay? Because with the Ten of Swords right behind that, they have betrayed you, okay? So therefore, they didn't do anything, all right? Universe, clarify the universe. Now, remember, this can, how you apply how it fits, all right? This can be between friends, this can be between colleagues, this can be between, you know, a business partner, <laughs> It's going to be, you know, it's going to be anything, all right? So, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the High Priestess. Okay. Trade on the bottom, Six of Swords. All right. So, someone was going back and forth to a Pentacles. Because with the five of pentacles energy, that's the same energy as the broke ass. They didn't feel like they could match your energy, match your money, match your personality, match your whatever. Okay? Boom. And that mental distort with the five of swords, that, you know, gossip from around town because they're getting the inside scoop, that um, chatter, that, uh, you know, manipulation from friends, from this third party, from this group of people, that, you know, whatever is what made them hold on to this high priestess energy. That secret, that unknown. Okay. All right. Let's clarify even more. <laughs> What's this two of pentacles energy? Because whatever it is, cherry energy says there's movement forward. That's a major arcana. So there's movement forward in a positive direction. Okay. I told you. Whenever, and this this is the type of see, if I'm gonna do a reading, I you gotta be like this because I like the spiritual influence. Okay, if a card purposefully goes on the floor to turn in reverse, it is to give the opposite message of what I would read it as. So my gods, my guides, and my God knows how I would read the card. So if it purposefully Okay, if they manipulate the cards to pur purposefully fall on the floor to go in reverse, it is so that I can read the opposite message of what I would interpret it to be. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I would interpret the two of swords as avoidance, not addressing, um, being closed off, not discussing, or whatever, an issue. That's what has somebody in the Two of Pentacles. Someone not address, not addressing something, right? Okay. Well, the Two of Swords in reverse is basically releasing that stuck energy, okay? So with this universe energy, which is like closing up a cycle, it's the world, it's closing up a cycle. Someone is closing up a cycle of being on a fence, going back and forth. Two of Swords in reverse. They're no longer avoiding it, okay? Something that had them so stuck in their head, so on the fence, so limited and stagnant. Because with the Seven of Swords energy, they weren't being honest. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Avoiding what? No longer avoiding what? This new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Okay? The Ace of Pentacles is a brand new start in whatever way. Something solid, something real. And you cannot start anything solid, anything real, unless there's honesty up front. Unless you can trust this person. And someone at some point felt like they could never get you back on that team or get you to even hear them out because of these influences. Okay? All right? With the Empress energy, the Nine of Wands, and the Will of Fortune. Listen, someone wants to progress things forward with you, move things into a better state, get back into a groove with you, grow things with you, get back into a relationship with you, be your best friend again. Be your number one uh, homie at work or whatever the case may be, all right? Because with the Nine of Wands and the Will of Fortune, 
whatever problems or stagnation or limitation that they are uh, receiving or experiencing, they're ready for things to change. They don't want to even be in that state anymore. Okay? Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles for the collective. Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Yes. This is this is getting back on the same page with you, building something solid with you. Okay? Uh, the Queen of Pentacles energy is is an energy okay it doesn't it can represent another person it depends on how you're reading it but they someone already saw you as the queen of cups energy it's like loving caring supportive you know you just know you're the person to go to whatever they saw you as that already now they're seeing you as someone they want to really establish something with even if it's just like long-term friendship they're seeing you queen of pentacles as someone that is a stable figure in their life and with the Ace of Cups energy, this is like I want to reestablish our emotional relationship with each other. Okay? Doesn't have to be anything romantic. Okay? It's like, you know, let's build, you know, bring that spark back between us. Okay? Yeah. Rebuild Three of Pentacles. Right? Because the Five of Pentacles energy, someone already don't feel, they feel left out. They feel alone. They feel like they're not matching your energy in whatever way. Okay, five of pentacles, clarify the five of pentacles. They can miss you. Okay, yep. Empress energy. Five of pentacles clarified by the Empress energy is I'm feeling uh, a loss, a lack in whatever way. And with the Empress energy, I'm ready for growth and expansion. I'm ready to move. I'm ready for seeds to be planted and grow. Okay, yeah. Someone's been thinking a lot about maybe commitment, getting married. Someone can be thinking a lot about like what they've been committing themselves to, loyalty, like what they've been really doing with themselves. Like the higher energy is like, you know, the way you do things, you know, your process every day. If maybe maybe they partying all the time, you work and they're thinking a lot about how, you know, they've been like, you know, committing themselves to, okay? And they are getting more at peace with what it is they want to do with themselves. How is they want to curry things, okay? Because four pinnacles energy is I've been holding back Four of Pentacles, holding back, holding on to, okay, doing anything, okay, and I'm ready to put in the work, okay, yes, yes, I'm ready for something more committed, I'm ready for something more realistic, I'm ready for something that's um, more authentic, <laughs> like whatever, how you want to say it, I'm ready, I'm ready to stop being a fucking liar, I'm ready to stop being, I'm ready to, uh, you know, whatever, Whatever you might have been, you know, trying to like encouraging this person. Maybe like I'm ready to stop running around in the street or whatever. I'm ready to like, you know, really get myself together and go to school and stuff like you. Maybe or you know, I'm ready to, you know, in whatever way. Okay. Whatever they did to make you two fall apart, Ten of Souls. They want to be honest about it. King of Souls. Okay. Whatever they've been holding back, or holding on to. Where did this King of Cups come from? You had the Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Mm. Did it pop out while I was shuffling? Mm. All right, clarify the five of swords, spirit. All right, this is chatter. It's mental conflict. It's just, it's words exchange. It's arguments even. Okay. But it's, it's, um, it could be gossip, five of swords, jealousy. Because someone's ego was definitely shattered. Okay, the Hermit energy and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, it's a it's an energy of uncertainty. Okay, yeah, someone that's been like really processing what you know what they need to do to make things work. Okay, Knight of Cups energy is someone taking like maybe the initiative to actually make things happen. Um, yeah, and I feel like with the Queen of Wands energy, 
you know, remember, I, you know, I don't feel like this is another person. I feel like this is um, the energy someone is seeing you in. It's like you're a go-getter. You're moving. Um, you're the queen rising. You're um, a mover and a shaker. You you know, you you getting it, okay? And with the king of pentacles energy behind that and the six of wands, it's like, I want that success too. I want that too. Okay? So, but the mental conflict is like, you know, you keep going back and forth, but with this five of souls energy, it's like, okay, well, somebody has some, you know, time to process. It's like, okay, you know, what is it you want? Okay. And someone is like ready to put in the work. Okay. They're ready to do something. Okay. Because with the queen of wands energy, you doing it. <laughs> High priestess. And this is so that things can move. I can't, you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. I said, mm -hmm. and this is so that things can move forward in a positive direction. And I was looking at the tree energy when I said that. Okay, but look, right after the tree energy on this deck is the six of swords. Okay, we have the six of swords here that came out clarifying the high priestess. Okay, this communication, what you did not know, secret whatever is being communicated is being shared so that things can move forward in a positive direction okay because of the seven of wands energy wasn't nothing happening okay wasn't nothing happening okay there was nothing but a full bone bone block up okay nothing why is the high priestess energy here for the collective high priestess energy for the collective Queen of Wands, King of Cups, okay. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, whoever, someone, this is someone that is seeing you thrive, okay. There's someone that has deep emotion for you that they, they haven't expressed it. it. Doesn't have to be romantic. Just to be someone that like really fucks with you hard, and they haven't even expressed like just how how much they really do bang with you, you know, or. You know, like, just someone who hasn't been, like, celebrating you as much, okay? Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, someone's, like, you know, choosing a path that's, like, aligned to where you're going, okay? So, they, 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 they're trying to meet, meet you, okay? So, this High Priestess energy and the Six of Swords is to, you know, communicate what hasn't been communicated so that things can move into a better state. You're moving, okay? You're moving and shaking. That's what I'm saying, like, as far as this Queen Rising energy, the Queen of Wands, Okay, but they're not sure if they apologize or if they give you this message or say what they need to say to you if it's going to make things move. Okay, three of wands energy, the fool. So they wait. All right. <laughs> but with the universe energy. That cycle's closing up. Didn't I see cycles when I was shuffling one of these decks? And I was like, cycles try to show as if like a cycle was closing out. Okay. I do feel that 100%. And I, and, and I literally haven't been doing any readings probably in the last couple months or so. Because I just felt like it was the same drawn out energy. One thing I cannot stand is stagnation. I think I said that on one of my videos. I was like, I was listening to it. And I just sound so dry. I hated it. That's because that's how I was feeling with the message, you know. So, Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, nine of swords and the four of swords. The anxiety around it, the stress around it, whatever was keeping someone limited and stuck with the ace of swords, eight of swords. Four of Swords to that Nine of Swords energy is being recovered, is being neutralized, is being healed, is being okay. Releasing someone from this Eight of Swords energy, okay. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, Nine of Wands energy is like you know a drain, right? So, as we close out this reading, Holy Spirit enters in heaven, any final messages for the collective? 
how should they maneuver as this energy comes towards them? This apology, this this um, message of love, this um, change that's happening. How should they maneuver as they receive or encounter this energy? Is this for the highest good of the collective? How should they maneuver? Holy Spirit angels in heaven. Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups. No. <laughs> Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Okay. Queen of Wands with the Ace of Cups. How should the collective respond before I say okay? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 All right. That seven of wands energy is the block. Okay. Page of swords. Okay. All right. Page of swords. This information. Okay. Is you know this communication is coming to you. Um. From it says King of Pentacles energy is you know this can be a masculine energy, gender you know high high fist. This is someone that's like maybe feeling better about themselves. They may be feeling more stable, more more ready to you know say something to you to communicate because already somebody felt like they couldn't match your energy in whatever way shape or form. You're queen rising, you're doing it. you happy, you for it. They in despair, you know we saw that. Okay, all right, cool. But this Queen of Wands energy, all right, you're in this energy moving, okay. You know, you're thriving right now, okay? If someone, Ace of Wands energy is more of like, you know, passion, sex base, okay, whatever. If someone was keeping it fun with you, not even like really trying to like um, take things to another level or not trying to take you serious or not trying to, um, in whatever way, just keeping it fun and keeping it, you know, whatever, that was doing, that was nothing but stagnation. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles energy, there was a way for someone to um, kind of control things for them, okay? Someone being selfish, thinking only about themselves. Um, and with the Ten of Wands energy, it has caused nothing but hurdles and delays. It's caused nothing but burdens. It's not caused nothing but uh, guilt. It's caused nothing but, you know, apply to how, apply how it fits to your situation, okay? With the Two of Swords energy, and the Ten of Pentacles, right? It was also, okay, it was also uh, limiting or keeping someone from this Ten of Pentacles, um, which is in, in whatever way, it can be marriage. It can be, uh, a, you know, longevity, you know, a solid, solid um, financial stability. It can be like, it wasn't doing nothing but holding someone else back. And now someone realizes that. They've been blocking it and they realize it. Okay, seven of wands and a page of swords. It's like, this person realizes that I wasn't doing nothing but hurting myself. For it. Because I didn't believe this person to be who they were, but they really was. Okay, you was all sweet and loving the current and stuff. And they're like, she's full of shit. Okay, or he's full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were giving up yourself one way and they didn't believe it. Smiling in your face, but really talking behind your back. Okay, like, they were giving that energy. Okay, for real. That's what it is. Maybe, you know, giving you a bad reputation, whatever. Okay. We initially saw when the uh, Queen of Wands came out, the Ace of Cups was on the bottom. What's coming towards you is the Ace of Cups, not the Ace of Wands. So their approach is different. Their approach is different because someone sees themselves. So you can accept it how you want to accept it. This is where free will comes in. You can say, I don't give a fuck. How, how they come at me? It's done. I, I don't, when I cut it off the first time, that's it. Or you can say, all right, well, they get what they give. That's how I do it. <laughs> Maybe that's the message. Keeping relationships balanced and fair. You get what you give. Right? So that's what I have for you, Shiv. I hope this helped.
I look forward to seeing you guys soon. This is how I like to do tarot. Not what I was doing before, and I don't plan to do that anymore. Period. <laughs> Just what it is. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> That's all I have. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like. Hit the like button down here. Comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Share. Send it to your friends. Post it to social media. And subscribe so that you know when I post. Miss you guys already. Bye.